Hey guys, I'm back to buy eyes off plus today. I always go to, I always go to. Today's a challenge I've not been looking forward to. It's all child. The challenge where it's just extremely cruel. And I forgot it actually goes to Mega Satan. Oh, boss fight offers the bat. Well, in this challenge, isn't everything a champion as long as it spawns a champion and whatnot? Yes! Jesus Christ, that guy's quick. Yeah, isn't everything a champion? No health spawns, and it's just awful. It's basically, hey, here's a challenge, and hey, here's how you make a challenge not fun. But yeah, we'll get through it, but probably after many attempts. Like, this is the hold R challenge, essentially. That's beautiful. I forget what this one does. I th oh wait, no, that's make a wish. Never mind. Never mind. Forget me now. Ah, that's actually not that bad. Ooh. Okay, we get both item rooms, do the boss fights, get items. Then... Do this floor again. That's the plan. Like, rip, we missed out on one item. Which could have made us stronger. But... That's my, that's my plan. We're gonna get two boss items, hopefully some form of damage or tears up on one of them. We're possibly just gonna die before we get to the next floor anyway, even though it's gonna be two floors, technically. Because Excel floors, because it also has every single curse. Apart from Curse of the Unknown, apparently. Forgot about that. Yeah, every enemy champion, so yeah, you take full hearts of damage. Um, and no health spawns, so you can take two hits maximum unless you get health ups. So yeah, it's kind of scary. Thunder thighs. <sighs> Just what I wanted. A speed downgrade. When I can't take damage or I will die. A speed downgrade. Making it harder to dodge. Good. Very good. Especially, guess what? All enemies are champions. And guess what? One champion modifier is. Oh, yes. The amazing speed champion. We were just in this room. Now it's changed because of the maze. If you didn't notice, we teleported. And it's done it again. To the exact same spot. Because this game is a troll. And it's real original with its trolls. Let's do this. Oh, Ragman. Please say you're the one that spawns normal spiders. That's not a normal spider! No! Like, I don't care about Devil Deals, because we need the we need health. And Devil Deals do not supply health. Well, they take your health, unless they give you black arts. But guess what? You can't get black arts unless you get an item that gives you said black arts. That's bad. That's very bad. Okay, three. Three. Three? Three. Three at once. Being resurrected. And now two more. Oh, I only got one, thank god. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, of course, he is in the perfect place to get both of them. Uh-huh, that's good. That's very, very nice. Come on, dude, stop hiding behind your friends. And yes, yeah, so we lost Eldeal, I don't care. Del Deal is least of my worries. Currently, my biggest worry is survival. It's the survival of the fittest, and I'm not the fit right now. I'm not fit. Oh, of course, I killed them literally on top of each other, so if he respawns one, he respawns the other, unless he's in an awkward space. Ah, no, that was not awkward. That was literally perfect. Okay, get rid of this guy in the corner. Perfect. He's going to go for that one. That sucks real bad, because now he heals himself. God, I wish my speed was higher. I really do. He's going for it. He's going for it. No! I'm not letting you do that, my friend. I'm not letting you. Okay, now these guys are just going to go for me because they're not defending him. I need to scratch my nose really badly, but we can wait. Oh, my God, my nose. Oh, that's better. Thanks for the, for the breakfast pickup right there. Okay, I like you. I like you. You don't just spam me with balls. You actually do something which is high risk, high reward for you. 
Thank you. Thank you kindly. In the fire! In the fire and the flames! Okay, no. I would like to say I'm going to try to keep these fires alive for as long as possible, but I highly doubt they're going to last that long. Okay, still a chance at Devil Deal. I'm still not banking on it, though. Like, it, if it's a two-heart deal, I'll probably take it. We can kind of afford it, but at the same time, that's kind of stupid to take. God damn you. Stop teleporting. Stop. Jesus. We got it. We actually got it. Crackjacks. <laughs> of all the things. I've got to take it. More of the void. Damage. Two hearts? Is it worth two hearts? I'm going to say yes. And I'm instantly using this. And we still have full HP. No speed, though. Speed is still awful. Now, the reason I say it's worth it is because we have this. That is going to tear enemies apart. Like, even the champions. Now, if we get an explosive champion on that, that's not going to be too good. Kidney bean. Probably one of the most useless items in the game. Good to see the gods are looking down on me with kind eyes. Yeah, we're not worried about the hearts from uh, more of the void right now. And I could also look for cross places and black markets. I was kind of doing that on the last floor, but I'm only going to do it in rooms I go into. I'm not going to just intentionally, like, accidentally ruin the run by going into rooms I shouldn't be. So yeah, just to let you know that. Oh, for God's sake. I hate Curse of the Maze, it's just so obnoxious. Best friend. Well, he explodes and can do something. And I'm not going to use Kidney Bean, I guess. So, yeah, it's good. Sure, a penny, I guess. Because this is the sort of run you don't want to just speed through, you want to take your time. Chill a bit. Play tactically. Like, currently, the run is not that bad, apart from speed. Because we have more of the void on technically the first floor right now. Which makes us extremely strong. But then the next one's going to screw us. I don't even know if we should be taking pills. I'm going to do it until it screws me. Well, that literally does nothing negative, because we already have that effect. Thanks, dude. Cheers. Thank you very much. Do not step on the explosive doodad. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, there's a soul heart and a red heart in here because there's two missing things. I'm going to buy it. Oh. Of all the things. Like, why are we getting so many space problems? We have four space problems so far. Two in the item room. No, three in the item room, including Forget Me Now, but I'm okay with Forget Me Now. And now, the converter. Something which literally has no positive thing with it. Why do I say that? That's just a pill we don't care about. Puberty, that's actually quite good. Yeah, why do I say... Oh, uh, that's huge. Yeah, why do I say it has no positive for us? Because it makes... soul hearts become full hearts. Now sure, maybe that'll affect us right now. Can I use that? I'm not sure. I'm gonna just keep the extra hits. Come on. Don't take any risks. What's that? Matchbook. Still no tears or damage ups from the item rooms. Or b b boss rooms. No surprise there. And off we go. Did we find both item rooms? I think we did. Yeah, we found Kidney Bean and Best Friend. Both of which are not that good. Yep, explosive enemy. Ooh, we got anemic from our item though. Or our trinket. Is that good or is that bad? It's sort of neutral in my opinion. Like, it's not a bad thing, but it's not going to... Like, make the run amazing. But sure, it's a free item. And I got hit by the mushroom, I've just realised. So it didn't do a full heart of damage. That's pretty good. <sighs> it's a good first attempt to the challenge, though. This is going relatively well. I'm going to say that's not worth it. Leave the boss room. For now, we go for that later. And yeah, I'm not going to be stomping mushrooms. There's no way I can play him. How many times has that screwed me so far? Like, it's not made my life horrible and got me hit. It's just so obnoxious and annoying, man. Such good items we are getting. 
One that makes my speed that of a decrepit snail. From an item room. Another. Or oh, all the others are space items. And then backstabber. An item that I don't think I actually know what it does. And I'm sorry for going back and forth so much. I think it's the right way. And by that I mean it's not in, or a way we haven't gone yet. I'm, as much as we came out of that way, it's just there. See, it, it was the it was the curse of Zimez that did it for me. But yeah, item rooms, as much as I'm looking for them, they're not exactly filling me with that much faith. They haven't really given me anything that's like, damn, that's amazing, apart from Forget Me Now. Which, you know, didn't really do that much. I think this is worth it. And I should also probably look for the six secret rooms and get two at once with one bomb. What am I doing? Wow, I actually did get a secret room. It's kind of nice. Lovers does literally nothing because hearts don't spawn. There was a heart in there that just also didn't spawn. Okay, we got five cents at least. Get rid of those. And I'm going to go open the other sacks. I don't care. I'm trying to get something. Troll bomb. I was hoping to get a lot of our bombs back. We have three. We used four. So I'm going to say we sort of got out of that one ahead. That was a bit close. Going to go down. Oh, my mistake. Ah, that was bad. That was really bad. At least we didn't get hit by that guy. He does a full heart or two full hearts of damage, I assume. Since he's the champion version that does double damage. So I assume he'd do two full hearts rather than one full heart. I don't know. Wait, no, maybe he does four full hearts? No, that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make no sense. Of course, it fired as I went through. It didn't hit me, but it was a bit scary. I won't lie. I'm not one to lie. Yeah, this is the problem with this chance. The later floors, the enemies are much harder to kill. And the floors get so much larger that it's very hard to get around. Extremely hard. No item room there. That's a bit sucky. That makes me a little bit sad. Come on, item room. That is not an item room. I cannot help but notice. Could I also have a speed up at some point? Maybe. Speed, tears, damage. Those are a lot of the types of item I would like. Those of which I've had none of, apart from more of the void. But that was a devil deal, and I had to risk my life by taking that. With my health, I'm bad. Risk it. Because he's the one that shoots. I used to be only got hit by an enemy that does half a heart of damage. Because it came from another enemy, meaning it couldn't be a champion. Thankfully. Please don't teleport me. I asked for one tiny little thing. One tiny little thing. It had to do. It. Oh, another space, Brian. You shouldn't have. Admittedly, I'm going to use this way more as much as it is fear. And it will probably screw me over. Top or bottom? Top. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Maybe I can now buy this. The jar. Literally useless. Glad I bought the top one because that actually will benefit me in the future. I love how two out of three shop items I've bought so far have been to do with health. Don't you think that's a little bit cruel? The converter would have done literally nothing for me apart from when I actually got health for it to work. And the jar. Something that just won't do anything because I can't find health. It's genuinely cruel. Okay, we're not going that way. We're just going to go straight for the boss fight. We found both item rooms. found the shop. To be honest, the shop didn't really care about. Just cared about the item rooms. But that's just an added bonus. Yep. Good job, that custom maze. You're not trolling me. You're just sort of boring me. Okay, we're meant to go up. Good stuff. Ah, that's bad. I forgot. It becomes double trouble extremely quickly. Okay, more of the void. You are huge here. Oh, and of course we got the little horns that don't actually fire any bombs. So they are just going to troll me to the end of time. They will not help me kill this man. Get out of it. 
Oh, it lags. Got him. Good, 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 good. You should not be that bad now, my friend. Get away! I'm coming for you. Smushed. That went surprisingly well. Dad's lost coin. We're getting such good items here. Gurglings. And a stain. Yep, my speed's not high enough. How did the stain even get there? Okay, this is Champion Stain. Keep the Devil Deal alive. Made it. Go, 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 go. We got Devil Deal. Little Steven. Nothing of use. I don't think we can take it. We need all the health we can get. Ah, I want a YOLO so bad, but I can't. I've got to play safe. I've got to play safe. Like, we are getting the worst items. I would. I don't believe the devs if they say, Yep, iron drops are normal in this challenge. Oh, I thought that was going to be the one that explodes into a more shot. Because that looks like the same colour to me. Because, you know, it's just a shade of red like the other ones that do that. Because that's fair. Look for puberty, why not? Is that a puberty? No, but that's actually amazing as well. Some would say that could come with puberty, but I won't. Okay, I will stomp mushrooms, or skulls, not mushrooms. Now I think about it, we can't get health, so that's probably a bad idea. I'm keeping the magician, because that actually works on more of the void, and it's actually really good. As much as it may not seem like it, as long as I keep the thing on the enemy, but it just makes it much easier to. Good stuff. Okay. <sighs> this may not seem that difficult right now, but I have failed this challenge too many times in the past. I haven't actually done any other videos on this in this save file. But we've done this before, and we know how much of a pain this is. I had to scratch my cheek there. Okay, and I have to scratch my cheek again. God darn it. Not worth it. Not even slightly worth it. Okay, that was good. Whoa. Those guys went much quicker than I expected. Come on, come on. Never mind. Carry on what you want to do, mate. Ooh, okay. But yeah, we've had no speed or damage ups in this run. So I was going to say, if devs say, hey, yeah, just normal items. I, I call them BS. Yep, that's what I'm feeling in this run. As much as I hate to make that joke, because it's just not a fun joke. One damage up, and it took HP to get it. Yep, that was apparently close enough to hit me. I'm kind of doubtful of that, but you know what? I'll believe you, game. Oh, that one wasn't close enough, apparently. That one felt closer. Maybe I'm wrong. Yep. The ring was a little close to me that time, so I backed it off. Okay, we can fight one boss. The next boss will be Mother. I'm gonna leave it for now. I just want the Iron Room. Get as many things to help me as possible, then we go for the fight. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be to the up left or right. Which is kind of annoying, because that's far too many directions. I would rather it just be guaranteed to be in one direction, but apparently not. Oh, I can actually reach them, thank god. And I meant with more of the void, just to get rid of them faster. As much as they're not that much of an issue, it just means they can't block my shots against that guy as much. Okay. Don't know if we're going to be able to beat Mega Saiyan on this one, to be honest. Oh, god. I've never done this room before. But with my speed, it's kind of intimidating. Went well. But it was a bit scary for my brain. And no, we're not doing boss rush if I can make it. I doubt I can make it at that. But if we did, I wouldn't have tried it. Because my speed is just not good enough and we cannot get our health back over the duration of it. Which is very, very mean. That's also very, very mean. 
Oh, I knew the champion version. I just didn't know how fast he'd die. So that was extremely close. I don't think I'm messing with these guys. These guys have homing. I'm not even going to try and get a quick, easy kill on them. Playing kind of smart. I like it. For once in my goddamn life. That's very bad. Yep. I can't kill that guy fast enough. That was a hit I could not have dodged. I was using Moral Void the entire time, trying to shoot him the entire time. The damage just wouldn't be out there. Yep, my speed once again, too low. Like, I, I saw the champion. It just died so fast that I couldn't outrun the shot. Which is a bit sucky. That one was just on me. That one was just... My brain did not quite expect that. Don't know why. It's kind of obvious what was going to happen, but oh well. Blast assists, get out of it. Get out of it. Can I please have an item room? Thank Christ. Garrett the one that shoots. I didn't mean the balls. I didn't mean the balls. Didn't mean the balls. I meant the one that fires the shots unpredictably. By my standards, at least. Hushy. Oh, I have been saved on this day. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, enemies that are apparently a shade of blue. Put two of them next to me. The only ones in the whole room. The whole room? The whole room that could possibly shoot at me. Even though they shouldn't be allowed to shoot at me. Because they were not a colour of blue. They were just a slightly darker colour. Soul hearts, so it gave me nothing. Good. We're dead. I, I'm just throwing in the towel now. I don't think we can beat the bosses with this run. Without dying. Just straight up. I think I'm going to die. To maybe even the first boss. Because it's double trouble. And the game is just teleporting me left, right and centre once again. Yep. What did I just say? It's the wrong way. It's the wrong way! It's up. I remember now. Up and to the right. Yeah, there it is. Haunt. Double haunt. Use it. Don't even care. Just get that damage out there. This is spider horn. Okay. No one likes a spider horn. I just need to get that guaranteed homing damage on him. Super bandage. That's amazing. But can I please have a damage upgrade? We can't get it on this boss fight unless we get a devil deal. In which I probably won't take. Uh, and I'm not using this card. Not card. My space bright I'm on this. Because it's going to make it drop unpredictably. Thank you, Happy Cloud. Thank you so much, Happy Cloud. Come on. Yes, Happy Cloud. You god. Oh yeah, it takes you to the negative path. Because F me. I'm not allowed to have four free items on the chest. Ah... <sighs> We're not taking any extra damage on this floor, thankfully. Because it, we just take full heart anyway, but the enemies, we still only have one damage upgrade. I wish I still had that. I wish I still had perks. I was about to say, that's the off colour of red that I recognise being extremely bad for me. Yeah, I still only have one damage upgrade, which I still just want to let you know that I had to sacrifice my own health for. Just to remind you, in case you'd forgotten... No tears ups anywhere, no other damage ups anywhere, no speed upgrades. Is that a shooter one? Yep, yeah. good, good. If I stand on the polyps, there's a chance I get a health upgrade, and a chance I get a damage upgrade with something else, which I can't remember what it's called. But I don't think I'm going to be going for those. Almost just walked onto the creep, trying to get my damage out there. And that would have been very bad. Go. Good. More of a void, like seriously. Such a good item. It is just 
ridiculously good if you couldn't already tell. Is there seriously a dead end? Was there no reason to come here? I gotta admit, that makes me a little bit unhappy. Just an entire big room for literally nothing. Just nothing. Didn't get hit. Doesn't mean I wanted to do the room though. Okay, more avoid Lamy tag on diagonals, extremely good as well. There's a tinted rock over there, there's no way to get it without flight. I dodged into it, I knew it was gonna go diagonally, I just didn't quite know where the diagonal was because my brain is just fried. Why, you fried brain, why? It was so easy to dodge. Okay. Who thinks I can beat Mega Saiyan with one damage upgrade, even if it is? Yep, that was not dodgeable with my speed. Sure, I shouldn't have run up to it. But if you hit these enemies, as soon as you enter the room, it does damage. Even when they're down, it just still does damage. I don't know why, but it does. So I had to go for it. Do not stomp the rocks. I can't risk stomping the rocks right now. I really should use fear, but it's too late now. Because the fear makes him stop moving. Thanks, game. Thanks so much. It's just what I wanted. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Fear, please. Fear me. That was... The shortest fear I've ever seen. No. No. He's dead. Just turtlings. I tried the needle, it didn't work. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I know I should have taken it slowly, but it's okay. Damaged tears. Man's skies are grey You'll never know, dear How much I hate you Now won't you just take my life away I'm dead Basically I can't use more of the void I can't get close enough Yep No way to dodge it My speed was too low What am I expected to do? One more, as long as it's not going to be ridiculously short, and I'm just going to hold R till I get my item room, because I don't care. <sighs> it was a good try, though. I went for it. It's damage and it's health. It's not a lot of damage, but it's damage and health. In this economy... <laughs> Excuse me. You just leapt across half of the screen. You're not one of the spiders that is meant to be able to do these things. Just to let you know. Conehead, that's soul heart and occasionally block shots. Already this run is better, apart from damage wise. If I get better damage, then we're basically going to be set, but I need that better damage output in the way that I had it with the other run. Because, you know, I had more of the void, which let that damage get out real damn fast. And now I don't have that, and I feel like I'm going to die. Like, my damage isn't much worse than the last round, my speed's better, and I have Conehead to block shots. It feels amazing. But, this challenge is just dumb. Like, sure, I could have probably gotten past Mum in that last attempt, but, like, what was, what was I meant to do past that point with one damage upgrade? I'm not going to risk devil deals that could just kill me. Like, it could just give me something awful that I don't care about or want. You are the spider one! Yes! It's the spider one that shoots a lot. Completely okay with you. Like, you shoot a bunch, but still. Oh yeah, and I just remembered he heals himself every time he does that. So he's just beefing himself up. I, have you made your health? Like you could do in the original Isaac, like your own character. You could just get your health off of the screen. Yep, undodgeable. 
He was running at me. That was mean. Like, he ran at me constantly. I couldn't get out of the way. And then when I tried to dodge, like, the shot was already on me. That's fair. Like, I prefer this one because he's just way more manageable. But the homing is just unfair. His homing is way better than you're allowed to have, which seems a bit cruel. Belly button. Still. Yet. To find. A god. Damn. Tears or damage upgrade. Or speed. Just to put that out there. Tears, damage, and speed upgrades. They don't exist, apparently. I think I've only ever had, like, one, maybe two in this challenge, ever. And I have given this challenge a fair few attempts. Like, the best way to do this challenge is just to keep playing it until you get, like, the D4 or the D100 and just go from there. Because you can re-roll your items, which will give you more health, and then eventually a strong run. That's the only way that is fair. <gasps> we got a tears up! Oh, I'm so happy! Didn't give us the health, but I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take both. Yes, baby. Ghost baby. Oh, I'm very lucky on this day. I took them because I have this trinket, which allows me to get two heart deals for one heart. I took a risk and got probably two of the worst items from the devil deal pool. Because this challenge, they totally haven't tampered with the item spawn rate. Sure, I got more of the void, but that was for two hearts. And, it, you know, because it's two hearts, it's more of a risk. That time I got two items for the same price, and I got screwed. And that room, I don't think I could have really gotten out of without getting hit, to be perfectly honest. Luck up. Oh, yeah, because that's going to help me so much. So very much. Jesus Christ, that's close. Okay. Lots of Yeah, that's fair. That enemy should totally be able to spawn out of what it did, and it should be able to shoot as soon as it spawns, so you have no time to react, and you instantly get hit. Yeah, I would have done that too. I would have done that too if I had the ability. And this is just the fat bat spawner room, apparently. It's where all the fat bats live, and are born. Yep, what am I meant to do here? That, good. Could you just die? There we go. Okay. Get away! Could you explode sometime soon? Thank the Lord. And could you guys... There you go. Killed them at the same rate because they were just hugging each other. Good. Oh, seriously. The devil card. Went all that way. Took damage for a devil card. Yep, now... Yeah, that's good. Uh-huh. That's what I wanted to do. You're not so bad. I just really wish you'd be in a position where I could actually hit you. Yep, that's that's nice. Yeah, keep it up. Keep it up. Get out of it, Pooter. I want to kill the enemies that don't have a straight line of fire. Probably worth it. It's a key and a chest. What's the chance it's not worth it? Two keys. Well, it wasn't amazing. A whole chest just to hold a key. It seems a bit much, but okay. Alright. Well, I guess that's okay, apart from the fact that they're blocking my shots. Making me a little bit sad. Okay, we got rid of him. No, we got rid of a different one. Unless there was two that did the exact same thing. Which would still be extremely mean, might I add. He has fly orbitals. I'm just so happy that this room is just a joke. And you can just do this. I would say to cheat it, but there's nothing these enemies can do. Especially when it spawns this type. Like, this is one of the times when it spawns the ones that can't spawn flies. And I'm actually okay with it. Normally, I would just be raging. But right there, that's perfectly fine. Because it actually helps me. I would still rather you just not be able to spawn them where others are meant to spawn. Not gonna lie, I'd still rather that, but... You do you, I guess. Okay, one of them's gonna die. Wow! How is its health not low enough? Come on. Okay, come on. You are. I know you're champions, 
but I hit one of you so many times, and you didn't die. That was kind of ridinky donk. Come on, please. This is why I hate these enemies. They just spawn things that take a million hits, and you can't hit them because they keep spawning the things that get in the way. And I have a damage upgrade making this easier. Oh, I've got some. I got some soul hearts. But guess what? They can't spawn, so it's a useless red chest. My favorite. Yeah, screw you, dude. I'm gonna hit you an angle, which is cheating, because you can't hit me. Jesus Christ. Yep, this room is my death. It's just my death. It's my death. Of course I had to throw in this randomly moving enemy. Oh, and there's an invisible one I didn't see. That was a bit risky. Yep. Didn't notice it was a shade of blue. This last one, I'm having a quick sip. That's my sip of drink. Give me something, man. Something good. I don't know. Like, I need knockback. But if I get something like Brimstone, I should technically be set. Tech would also be sweet. But yeah, I don't know what to think about this. It's good, but... My god, it sucks. A smarter man than I, let's say, would have just said, you know what, no, it's not the run for Ludo. But I say, no. We can make this work. Now, there's gonna, be, there's gonna come a time when I blame Ludo for getting me hit. But, I'm just saying that now, so you know that it's my fault for taking Ludo. Sure, like I just said, it's my fault for taking Ludo, but... Whoever invented that curse is just... I hope they're happy that they're causing other people misery. Let me just say that. I hope they're happy that they're making others not happy. Okay, just nobody give me a shot speed downgrade. For the love of God. I kind of like this. Because none of them are shooting. Yes. Sometimes... They shoot, and it's pretty random where the shots go, so you can see how happy I am that the enemies don't track me, and there's also the fact that they didn't have the thing where they spawn like that, because that would have been mean. Okay, push them back, one went into the fire, good. Um, These guys are a freaking pain when you get close to them, so Ludo is great here. No spawning spiders for you. No spawning spiders for you, I said. There we go. Item room, could you please be near? It's got to be on the right side of the map. Or up right, I mean. Or maybe it's just up. Maybe it's just up. It's probably just up. Thank you, Brain, for stopping the Ludo tier right as it was about to hit that TNT barrel. That would have been bad. Lemon mishap. Because apparently you get 99% space bar items in this game mode. And none of them are actually that good. Because who wants the freaking lemon? I'll tell you who. No one wants the lemon. No one. Dude, jump on the lemon. Thank you. Yep, there was no way out of that. Because giant monstro, tiny room. What are you expected to do, honestly? Rip devil deal, but... What are you meant to do? It's, this, this, it's just what this challenge is. Something good? I said don't give me a shot speed down. And you gave me one of the only items in the boss pool that gives me that. And then you give me this guy and I have no knockback. The game has planned this seed... Like, sure, I have a tears up, but, like, I can't maneuver the tear as easily, which is gonna screw me in the future. <gasps> okay, that didn't hit me. Die! Thank you. Didn't get a devil deal, I'm kind of okay with that, but at the same time, I'm kind of sad. Little Steven. Oh, yeah, you're my favorite. We've had you twice, but we haven't had a single damage upgrade yet. Or speed upgrade. Just to let you know. Not a single one. 
Not a single sausage. I can't move my tear when I use lemon mishap. Didn't quite know of that. That makes me a bit sad. Yep, so is this room right now. Like, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. They're both so close. Okay, one more. Go. Nice. It's kind of annoying that I had to do that room, since it literally gave me no benefit. But you know what? It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <sighs> Could you stop with the curse of the maze? Did you have to include that, Nicholas? Seriously? What benefits does that give me? Nothing. That's the point, I know. But, like, what benefits does it give you? It's not helpful, it's just annoying. I know that's the point of it, but it just is not fun. Some curses, pardon me, are fun. Some are less fun. Curse of the Blind, not fun, but a cool curse. Curse of the Maze is just annoying. Since when? Since when? Since when could he have spawned in here? Thanks for that. Thanks for teleporting me away when I went going back to try and find the cross place black market. Okay, okay. Okay. Yep, I have to just take the damage. I could not get out of that. Tear, get close to me. Stay near and dear. This is when I need the knockback. I'm okay with it, because Ludo's been really good so far. Oh, that's just cruel. That was just cruel. Fast bombs. Fast, fast bombs. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Just don't get in there. Okay, just get rid of him. I was getting rid of those, but you know what? That's stupid. Like, they're going to track me, which is why I was getting rid of them. But you know what? Let's just, let's just get rid of all of the enemies. I will enter the shop, and I will regret it. I will not regret it. I need both. Yes. I think that's one of the items that made me beat this the first time I beat it. Because that's amazing. Admittedly, we can't take too many hits, which makes it suck. What? Those things are meant to track where you're going. And I was going in a different direction and I chose to fall back. Yeah, that's cruel. Yeah, what am I meant to do here? Yep. Yeah, that that was not plausible. I'm having one more. Like that room, I don't understand why it exists. Has baby. Nope. Not having it. Are you serious? Ludo again. So help me, I'm gonna make Ludo feel good about itself. Oh, such a good card. Yeah, it's so good. So good. Such a good card. Gives me health and then makes me feel sad because I can't get the health. Because the health just it's been told no you're not allowed to spawn on this day and it just said oh have I done something wrong and it said no but we just don't want the game to be fun anymore oh that was beautiful I run a ring around him but yeah now I've also lost stopwatch one of the items that, have, that I had hoped for in the last run I mean I just got it at the end of the run but still sad to see it go because you know it was it was good or at least would have been. Okay, for a minute I thought that was a dead end. Run away. Please be something good. Tech would be great. Not tech two. I have no words. Are you serious? The item we got on the run before this was Headless Baby. We had Headless Baby on the run before that. And Headless Baby again. So apparently Headless Baby and Ludovico technique have a high spawn rate in this game mode. I'm not even kidding. I'm genuinely... I genuinely think that's a thing. Maybe less so... Oh... Knob off. Maybe less so for Ludo. 
but Headless Baby, I'm 90% sure it's just got a high spawn rate. Four runs. Wait, no, not f eh, maybe four runs. And seeing Ludo twice. Seeing Headless Baby on all of them. It's pretty bad. Like, Ludo is good. I love Ludo. But, like, I need something like Tech X. It's not even a can I have. It's a can I have it because I need it and will die otherwise. But no, it's I'm not allowed it. I'm allowed Ludo. No, I'm not everyone loves. What's this? I don't care. I got no negatives. Ludo makes that just nothing. So happy that that direction had like basically nothing apart from the item room, but it gave me headless baby. So basically nothing. Here we go. Ah, oh, an orbital. I was gonna say we hadn't had an orbital yet. Now we have. That guy almost just went straight into me because I was bad. Nothing new there then. Okay, go to your second phase, sir. Your second phase makes it so you don't move. You just shoot. Makes it so you just shoot. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm no longer stuck. Yeah, now you're just gonna shoot. Which means I can just dodge. Easy stuff. And that allows us to block some shots, perhaps. Maybe. Slightly. Sort of. I don't know. And by that I mean I do know. Screw you, Larry. Insta death. Roid rage. Speed and range. Well, speed's kind of nice, but I need damage. Like, we've been getting tears ups, but we need damage more than tears. Like, this trinket is good. It's good. Well, not trinket. This orbital is good. It's going to allow me to kill things easier. Wow, the damage. How is it so bad? Its head was up, and it was doing that much damage. Oh, come on. Screw you. Oh, oh, oh. It's magic. You know... I'm dead. There's no way to survive this room. I'm calling it now. This room is not survivable. Well, that's the end of that, then. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and... I hope you don't suffer as much as me while playing that challenge, because that challenge is not fair. It is just dumb and stupid. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.